Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone uh, So actually uh, this paper actually uh, written by uh, my FRB student Finally Projects uh, last semester <coughs> He did on the best fit distribution for annual maximum rainfall event Which is IDF curve construction for Cebu Sarawak I think this paper actually having a uh, quite relation with what already explained by Dr. Eliza before Dr. Eliza used PMP and this is actually the sum for this for PMP Okay. So in this presentation, we will discuss about the development of intensity. IDF is intensity, duration, frequency curve for Cebu. For Cebu, Cebu is in Sarawak, Malaysia, and these IDF curves are essential. Like Dr. Eliza said, it is essential tools for designing fat mitigation infrastructure. Okay, and we will explore the importance of selecting the right probability. Distribution and the parameter estimators method for constructing the accurate IDF curve. Okay, and the result of this study will be used to improve flood resilience in Cebu. Okay. So as for introduction, extreme precipitation events are a major threat to urban areas around the world. Okay, and Malaysia with a very a tropical climate. And also for uh, having a monsoon uh, rainfall, it is particularly, particularly uh, vulnerable to flooding. And this flood can cause significant change damage for our infrastructure and pro uh, our properties and also our human life. Okay? So to design effective rainfall uh, flood mitigation system, engineers need to consider the intensity, duration and frequency IDF of rainfall events. <coughs> So this IDF curve provides a valuable tools for understanding this relationship. So there is approach for generating IDF curve. Like Dr. Aliza said, there is, there is statistical approach, physical based approach, and also hybrid. As can you see here, statistical approach use historical uh, rainfall data to estimate the probability of accurate for different rainfall intensity and duration. Physical, it simulates the physical process of precipitation formation to provide a more mechanistic understanding of rainfall event and the hybrid, it's combined statistical and physical method to leverage the strength of both approaches. Okay, and this is the important, important uh, for of relevant IDF curve. Developing, developing uh, the robust IDF curve requires careful consideration of several factors. One of the most important factors is the selection of right probability distributions, uh, PD, PDF. And this pro, uh, probability distribution is a mathematical function. PDF is a mathi mathematical function that describes the likelihood of different rainfall intensity occurred. Okay? And this choosing the wrong distribution can lead to inaccurate IDF curve, which could result in the design of unsafe flood mitigation infrastructure. For this study, we have this objective, which is to develop the IDF information for Cebu because uh, what we are, we, what we are uh, getting information that in Cebu, they still not, don't have any IDF curve. So I asked the student to develop IDF information for Cebu, Malaysia, which is, uh, this place is a flood prone town. And the data he used is from 2000 to 2020 of high resolution rainfall data which is we get from the world climb from our software <coughs> then we evaluate the various probability distribution and parameter estimators and finally we can establish the best method for constructing the IDF curve for Cebu so this is the study area which is in Sarawak Cebu is in Sarawak uh, its uh, climate is hot and humid year round with mean annual temperature around 27 degrees Celsius and it received 2,500 and up to 3,500 millimeter of precipitation annually and we use one uh, a Cebu station data uh, from the, this year 2000 until 2020 okay so this is the methodology methodology uh, for uh, uh, development of IDF curve we use, uh, we generate by fitting PDF to maximum annual precipitation data such as annual maximum of daily. We can use actually for 
For example, you can use one, two, three, or more uh, our rainfall amount. For our case, during this research, we construct uh, 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 for return period of 2, 5, 10, 25, 50, and 100 years for duration of 6 hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, 20 up to 69 hours, which is 5 days of rainfall. And uh, like I said before, PDF is a mathematical function. There is actually, if, you, we, if we can, uh, we can show there's many uh, mathematical function used for PDF. Uh, in uh, generate the IDF curve to model the statistical distribution of rainfall. Uh, to effectively use this PDF, we also need to employ the parameter estimation to find the best fit parameter of, uh, of the chosen distribution uh, or based on the observation rainfall data that we have. So uh, we employ three, three types of uh, uh, prob probability distribution fun uh, function which is Gumbel, Gumbel distribution. Sorry, actually the second one is you be using GP. GP is generalized Pareto, not a lot person. And the third <coughs> one we use generalized extreme value, GEV distribution. And for the parameter estimation, we use two estimators, which is maximum likelihood estimator, MLE, and also generalized maximum likelihood estimator, GMLE. And it developed ADF curve for various certain period, like I mentioned, 2, 5, 10, 20, 5, 50, and 100 years. So this is the result. Actually, this is the, uh, the annual. Uh, when we plotting the annual maximum rainfall from the rainfall data, we got this uh, result. So <coughs> uh, if you can see, um, it's showing that. Uh, you can see which year is the highest here? 2000? 19. 19, the red color line. So the 2019 shows the uh, the highest uh, rainfall amount recorded during this period, uh, which is this is the data line for 481. This is uh, according to the duration, six, 12 hours, 18 hours, and up to 120 hours. We got this uh, annual maximum rainfall annually. Okay, so this observation indicate an intense and potentially extreme rainfall event during that specific year. Okay. So by using this goodness of uh, fit uh, test, we use uh, a negative likelihood uh, method. So we got this uh, result. Uh, all, all, actually, all the three uh, probability distribution uh, method that we use, GEV, Gumbel, GP, provide reasonable fits to the uh, rainfall data. Here, uh, the, the, the lowest negative value uh, will consider the best one. So we can see here the GEV, GEV uh, bring the, the uh, lowest value. So GEV distribution exhibited a slight advantage in terms of goodness of fit statistic. So after that, <coughs> we can develop IDF. So after we getting this, we already decide that we want to use GEV. Uh, that and the estimator is uh, sorry, the estimator is GMLE. So we can use this uh, one to develop our IDF curve. So if you can see here, the IDF curve is for very straight <coughs> using GEV and also the estimator is GMLE. And uh, this data used for analysis is using 21 years, lah, 2000 until 2020. And from the result, uh, what we can see here, uh, firstly, what we can see here, this result actually uh, portrays some key relationship, key relationship inherent inherent to the extreme rainfall. First one is we can see that this rainfall intensity measured in millimeter per hour demonstrate an inverse link. You can see inverse link, negative, with storm duration. Okay, so you can see that the short intense burst of heavy precipitation exceeding 100 millimeter per hour over the period less than 12 hours there. And this adheres to physical constraint. Uh, it is harder for the atmosphere to sustain extended heavy precipitation episode without respite. And secondly, we can see here, the IDF curve differentiate between regular and rare extreme using return period. Rainfall intensity grow substantially for larger period interval of, two, of 25, uh, 50, and 100 years. And this associates rarer extreme, which both 
possess higher flight risk with heavier rainfall rate for any given duration windows. For example, for instance, for instance, you can see here over 24 hours, the hundred years, the hundred years here, the hundred years written period, nearly double the intensity of median rainfall expected every two years. So it's uh, double from two years to hundred years. Okay. Uh, what we can uh, get from here is information that this expon exponential growth pattern highlight how extreme storm intensity faster than its frequency reduce. Okay. So the the extreme storm intensity faster than the frequency. Okay. That's what you got from the result. For as for the conclusion, uh, what we have here, develop at the F curve for Cebu can be used. Uh, can be uh, can be you can get using high resolution rainfall data. As I did here, I use uh, uh, world clean data and the G, uh, GEV distribution with the ML method provided for for this study lah. The result you can get that the GEV distribution with the ML method provide the most reliable result. And the, ID, the, the IDF curve are available too for designing flood mitigation infrastructure, infrastructure in Cebu. And this future study could explore incorporating climate change projection into the IDF curve. So in the future, maybe we can extend this study by considering the projection for the uh, uh, this station in Cebu. Okay, thank you. Thank you.